all right guys welcome back to 243 outdoors this is josh so this week i've done a little trading and i bought myself a new shotgun um before i tell you what it is well i guess you already know because you've read the description but it's a mossberg 930 jm pro uh, i've had my radar on this gun for a little while and one of the local shops that's oh 45 minutes away or so had one in stock and uh did a little trading and I think I got a pretty good deal on it. So today is just gonna be a first look video. I have a bunch of different ammo and we're just gonna make sure it cycles. If you watch several reviews and uh, videos on YouTube of this right or the shotgun, uh, there's some issues it has, sometimes feeding, sometimes cycling. So uh, they claim the later models uh, are not affected, but I don't know. So like I said, I got about five different brands of the cheaper ammo and we're just gonna run a little bit each through it and just see how it does. This gun's new, it's never been fired and uh, it's very windy out today. So that's why I'm talking to you in the truck. I don't know how good the audio will be. If it's really windy, I may throw some music with it and not do much talking out there. But basically this is just gonna be a first look video and we're gonna see how it does. I have had the opportunity to meet Jerry Michalek before uh, a couple years ago at NRA convention. I believe I was in Nashville. Uh, I got to meet him. I got his autograph. Real nice guy. Uh, just an amazing shooter. And uh, ever since I've seen this gun, I've really wanted it. Uh, with it being a Mossberg, I'm no stranger to Mossbergs. I've been shooting them for over 20 years. Uh, I believe the first gun I ever bought on my own once I turned 18 was my Mossberg 500, and it has buku rounds through it um we're getting out here at the range right now so uh i'm gonna get up get set up and uh let's see what happens there's a look on how windy it is today uh that grass is uh really moving out there so i'm gonna try to set the truck up where it'll block the wind off the camera a little bit and like i said this is just gonna kind of be a quick video i think i have five or six different kinds of ammo and i may not even run five or ten rounds of each one so uh, let's go
I just run 7580 rounds through the gun. It impressed me very much. No hiccups, no malfunctions. It ran every single thing I ran through it. All that ammo is pretty much Walmart ammo costing $5.50 a box or less. The uh, That federal box, the red and white box, that's a lot of that stuff I think is on sale right now for like $4.75. So uh, I ran that whole box to make sure it worked, and uh, I'll probably be buying a bunch of that. I have a clay pigeon shoot to go to here in uh, about two more weeks, and that was the main reason of picking this gun up is for that shoot. Um, today was just, just a first look video at it, make sure everything works. Uh, maybe next weekend I'll get the clay pigeon thrower out and sling a few and uh, see how it does busting some clays. But uh, the recoil is pretty mild for it, being a semi-auto, it absorbs a lot of it. It has a pretty soft butt plate on it. Um, I, uh, it actually exceeds my expectation on it. Um, I know these guns have had some malfunctions and stuff when they're new, and I still wanted this gun. It just, it was just one of those. I just had to have it. So uh, I'll probably be picking up some more ammo. Uh, last year, this shoot, I think I shot a 250-round case and a 100-pack, so I shot about 350 rounds in a couple hours, and that was using a Mossberg 500 pump gun. So I can only imagine how much I'm willing to go through with this gun, but uh, I apologize for the wind today. It is just blowing like crazy. Uh, there's no way you'd be able to hear me talk out there, so I just shot. So uh, I'll edit this video up, make it look pretty good for you. Um, we got some rain coming in later today, so I doubt there'll be any more shooting this weekend. Um, we got a little bit of rain this week, and that kind of slowed the farmers down a little bit. And they was just getting out in the fields again yesterday and a little bit today, but they'll probably be hanging it up. That's all I got out here at the range today. I want to thank everybody for watching. Stay tuned. You never know what you'll see next. We'll catch you later.